Okay, uh, so you turn, I'm going to show you how you export your project from Unity so you can put it into uh, the Google Classroom hand in folder just because we don't have time to have class and uh, I don't have time to teach you how to do it because of the graduation. So I've got a game here to get started. I've got, uh, this is uh, Clayton's game. So if I press play on the game, I'm going to turn sound off. Um, we've got our starting screen. You hit play, it loads up and then his game's ready and it plays. Okay, so uh, what I do if I want to build it out is first I go to build settings. Now the very first time that you go into build settings, you'll have all of these here ticked. So I uh, command, I usually go and select everything and this is all the ones that are in our asset. I hold down shift and I can turn them all on or I can turn them all off. Okay, so the things that you need to go into your game to make it work are just, well, just the level that you uh, have edited or created on your own. So minimal four players. You also, if you use one of the uh, more mountains assets like Corgi Engine or Endless Runner Engine, and you wanna have a start screen or a loading screen, you click loading screen and start screen. Now that is only uh, if you have um, created that yourself, otherwise you don't want to do it. So if I look, let's see, main screen here is nothing. Yep, because that's something that I was trying to work with uh, Clayton. So start screen, we can see I've done some stuff to edit that. So I go into file, build settings, and I'm gonna make it for Mac, which is going to be the default, so I can just leave it, okay? If you've created your own scene, you can either drag the scene in like this, uh, or you can add the scene that's open if your scene is open and you're working on it in here, okay? So um, we've got PC, Max, Linux, standalone, and basically I will just go build and run. Then it's going to try and put it in your main folder. So I'm gonna call this Clayton Ninja 1 because I've already saved his out before, and I'm gonna hit save. Now what's gonna happen now is it's going to take not too long, but a little while, and it's going to build this into an app that can be played uh, on your Mac. So it's building my folders up, it's packaging it all together, and it's creating a single workable file. When that happens, build successful is hopefully what's gonna happen. We hit play, and our game works. So we have our loading screen, and here we are. Functional game, ready to go. Okay, good. Uh, I cannot add a quit button, but if I don't have a quit button, unfortunately I have to force quit out of it. Okay. So we've got that and we're done with Unity now for the moment. What we want to do now is we want to go into where our file was. So in Clayton's case, uh, his was saved into my downloads. Uh, so, but yours might be saved in either the go home folder. So if you go to go and then home, Unity usually saves its projects in there by default. So you can find it there. Otherwise, you know, it, it could be around the computer. And what you're looking for, you see a folder that looks like this. Okay, so you've got your C sharp, your assets, your library, your temp, all that. I don't want all of that. I just want the built game. So a good way to tell the built game is mine has the uh, Corgi Engine logo on it. Now I can change this logo however I want by going and um, up to here and pasting something else into there. But for now, I can see that I've got a 145 megabyte file. Now if I try and down, uh, upload this to Google Classroom, it's going to try and upload like a thousand files and it doesn't actually work and I can't download it, get it working. So what I need to do is I need to right click on it and hit compress. What's going to happen then is it's going to give me a zip file and it's going to be much smaller in size. If I go to get info here, I can see this one's only 33 megabytes, whereas the other app is 145 megabytes. So what we've done with that is we've used lossless compression. So you will need to know about lossless compression next year if you do multimedia next year. It's just a way of compressing a file where we can get it back to the original file size. This is now one file. If I go into Google Classroom now, I can upload that file. Um, and I also wanna upload a digital version of my portfolio. Okay, so that should make it easier for you to work with. Uh, thank you for listening.